not expect former President Trump to be arrested today. Adding another witness will testify before a grand jury tomorrow, of course, one yesterday, in the day's pro DA's probe of hush money payments made uh, during the 2016 campaign, thought to be a zombie case. This is three GOP lawmakers, including our next guest, demand Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg testify before Congress if Trump is indeed indicted. GOP Congressman Brian Stiles joins us now. Uh, Brian, thanks so much uh, for being here. Uh, first off, your reaction to the imminent indictment is supposed to come next week. I think it's incredibly concerning when we see such a politically motivated move by the Manhattan DA. All this at a period of time when that DA should be going after actual criminals yes. in the streets of New York. So many people in New York City don't feel safe walking on the streets, and yet we have the DA using his resources to advance a political agenda. It's why Jim Comer, Jim Jordan, and myself came forward asking questions. Are they coordinating with federal right. agencies, including the DOJ? Are they using your federal tax dollars to pursue a political agenda rather than making the streets of New York City safe? That's why we're calling him to come and testify and provide documentation to all three of our committees. So put him under oath. And why this case, who was a zombie case, and he saw no credibility with it, now all of a sudden he's queued up, ready to go with it. So Robert Costello is an interesting case. He was signed by Michael Cohen to represent him, and then he got his uh, release to speak openly about Michael Cohen and his lack of credibility. And he did it in front of the grand jury yesterday. He reported afterwards. Listen. I've listened to Michael Cohen stand in front of the courthouse and say things that are directly contrary to what he said to us. My obligation is to bring the truth to both the district attorney and to Trump's lawyers. That's exactly what I did. If they want to go after Donald Trump and they have solid evidence, so be it. But Michael Cohn is far from solid evidence. Right. Uh, does that bother you as well? Well, this is why it's called a zombie case. Multiple prosecutors have looked at this, both at the DOJ level, this office. He previously declined to prosecute this case, and now it's back before us. Why is that? What's the intervening action? The only thing that has changed is President Donald Trump has declared he's running for president of the United States. That's what's concerning to me and to others, is that this appears to be politically motivated. It's why we're asking the questions. My priority is to make sure people have confidence right. in our elections, and it's actions like these that lead people to question what's going on with the DA's office in Manhattan. So, Congressman, if he does indict next week, you're going to tell him you, you need to come before us. Do you expect him to say yes? I'd sure like him to come forward. I think not only do we deserve an answer to what's going on, I think the American people deserve an answer to the questions that we've asked. The questions mm -hmm. that we've put forward, I think, are pretty straightforward. Is he or is he not coordinating with federal law enforcement agencies, and in particular, the Department of Justice? Right. Is he using federal tax dollars intended for street crime to do, drive forward a political agenda? I'm hopeful that he comes right. forward before us. Right. Uh, let's just get the truth. Put him under oath. All right. Brian Stile, Congressman Brian Stile, thanks so much. All right.